gentlemen, welcome to Iona. That's right, Iona by P&O Cruises is here and we are on the maiden voyage. We are heading up to the Scottish Inner Hebrides to Iona's namesake island and then back down to Southampton. The good news is this gives me much more time to explore the ship and give you a proper review. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing and hit the like button if you like the video. In the future, Iona will travel to the stunning Norwegian fjords in the summer, and in the winter, it will go to the Canary Islands and Spain. But the exciting part is this is powered by LNG, liquefied natural gas, and that makes it one of the most environmentally friendly cruise ships in the world. Having 30 restaurants gives you absolutely loads of choice from freedom dining at any time of the day to world-class restaurants. The food and the dining was something I was really looking forward to. And to be honest, I feel like it's raised the standard for cruise dining. Some of the best I've eaten anywhere in the world, let alone on a cruise. I heard a lot about the Prime Minister burger at the Keel and Cow. That did not disappoint. It was about the same size as my head. The Limelight Club was one of my highlights. We had a really lovely setting, three course meal. The entertainment was in the same place. Brilliant. Lavoie and some live music. Final place today was the Glass House and the main thing there was the wine selected by Ollie Smith of course and he's really fantastic at connecting with the guests and he came and had a chat with me and he's even sort of gone as far as to say he'll email me like a nice list of some of the wines I should be trying when I get home. You don't get far on Iona without passing a bar whether you want a cocktail in the crow's nest with spectacular views or a late night intimate live set at the 710 Club where Gary Barlow is the musical director. Iona has the world's first gin distillery at sea Maribel Gin by Salcombe Gins has been inspired by the ocean and they actually went and foraged some of the botanicals from the island of Iona. And what I love is that in every bar on Iona you'll find the Maribel Gin and it has the gold top and that means it's been distilled on board. During the day you can relax in one of the indoor or outdoor pools, you can sit in the hot tub or have a massage and spend time in the Oasis Spa. There is a huge gym with fitness classes, a sports deck, and if you want some adults only privacy, come here to the retreat, which is a tranquil relaxation area with incredible views. The sports deck has football, archery, golf, and basketball. And basketball. And basketball. And basketball. And basketball. And for the children, you have The Reef, which is organized into age-specific clubs with outdoor players and entertainment such as treasure hunts and puppet shows. I think it was a brilliant touch to actually visit the Isle of Iona. We had a fantastic firework display, which really felt like a, a party atmosphere. Something really special, really lovely evening. There's been some brilliant aerialists in the Sky Dome. There's been laser shows. The festival in the Headliners Theatre was incredible. The display, the live music and just the whole spectacle of the festival performance was amazing. You will not get bored on board Iona. <laughs> that was a bit cheesy on the hot sauce. Oh, hello. Welcome to my crib. Come on through, I'm gonna take you straight through to where the magic happens. Now, this is a balcony cabin, one of the main suites on Iona, and I love having a balcony somewhere to watch the world pass by. There's obviously lots of other space for relaxing, for working, and a big bed with a view. There are also inside cabins available and solo cabins, and new for Iona are the conservatory mini suites, which are brilliant for letting the light from the outside into the cabin. P&O Cruisers have really blown this one out of the water when it comes to Iona. It's a fresh, modern and lively ship going to be taking on some of the best destinations in the world and I cannot wait to get back on board. It's really just been a spectacular launch. Personally, I'm an adventurous type so I love waking up in a new destination every day and I love having fine dining and somewhere to have a nice drink and some entertainment on board in the evening. It's the whole package.